Okay, first rule, if you ever find yourself in a cult-like situation, do not drink the Kool-Aid. Seriously, no sleepy juice for me, thanks. I have a big day of, you know, living planned for tomorrow. So in recent decades, cults have gotten a bad reputation and rightfully so, some have been behind some pretty despicable things. Slavery, ritual suicides, mass killings, and not to mention the destruction of Tom Cruise's reputation are just a few examples. Cults have actually existed since the beginning of civilization and often get confused or masqueraded as new forms of religion. Now that you probably knew, but what you likely didn't know is that some of the strangest ones that have ever existed, exist right now. So just to make sure that you don't end up getting brainwashed by the wrong group of people, let's dive right into it. Here are the 10 most bizarre cults that exist right now. Number one is New Wabianism. The Nuwabians, originated as a black Muslim group in New York City back in the 1970s, founded by Dwight York. Some beliefs held by this religion include, and get ready for this, aborted fetuses are living in the sewers who plan on taking over the world. Another is that Satan has a child that was born in New York City, the mother of which is Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Of course, the Pope was present at birth and Richard Nixon raised the child. Oh, and they also believe that aliens are coming at some point to to take the 144,000 chosen people away in a flying saucer. Ah yes, but as if that wasn't enough, the leader Dwight York got busted for racketeering, child sex slave trafficking, and child molestation. The group has lost many members since that whole debacle, but ah, not all hope is lost. York will be back out of prison and ready to lead his people into the night sky when his 135 year sentence ends April 2122. 135 years? Pfft, that's nothing compared to an eternity of living with the pancake people in the sky. <laughs> Number two is the Prince Philip movement. The Castone people in the Yonanan village in the southern island of Tana, located in the South Pacific, believe that Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, is a divine being. See, according to ancient tales, the son of a mountain spirit traveled over the seas to a distant land. There he married a powerful lady and in time would return to them, that woman of course being Queen Elizabeth II. Now it's unclear when this belief first came about, but it's thought to be sometime in the 1950s or 60s and the belief was only strengthened when the royal couple visited them in 1974. Perhaps the funniest thing is that at the time Prince Philip actually had no idea about this cult but has since been informed and has actually sent them a portrait of himself. That seems like it's a little vain there Prince Philly. I mean you know these people think that you're a god. You're gonna send them a portrait of yourself? Just that portrait's gonna be like the king of the island. It's gonna be complicated. What you doing, man? Number three is the Church of Euthanasia. The Church of Euthanasia is an organization that was started by Chris Corda in 1992 and is devoted to eliminating or at least controlling the growing population of the world. The one single commandment that they hold is thou shalt not procreate. In other words, no boning. On top of this lunacy, there are also the four principal pillars of the church, which are suicide, abortion, cannibalism, and sodomy. If that doesn't creep you out, the group is still federally recognized in America as a non-profit educational foundation. Really America? Is it that? Easy to start a religion? Cause like, you know, I would like to start the religion of Pelada Awesomeness which is those people that are bald never have to pay taxes and I'm the king. So bow down. Number four are the Brethren. Founded in 1971 by American Jimmy T. Roberts, the Brethren exists as a radical group that believes that the only way to prepare for the inevitable end of the world is to purify yourself by giving up all modern comforts and conveniences. You're only allowed to work odd end jobs as a means to survive, you have to cut off all ties from the outside world, and on top of this, members are not allowed to celebrate in any means, that includes singing and dancing. Ah, no singing and dancing, no, no, because this must be saved for the end of the world and the return of the savior. Does anybody else picture the members of these groups as just like bearded, long haired, unwashed people that are just like picking lice off each other? Just being like, he's gonna come one day. Oh yeah, he's gonna come. <laughs> Number five are the Cosmic People of Light Powers. The Cosmic People of Light Powers is a Czech cult that believes in an alien named Ashtar Shirin. No relation to Ed, just 
for clarity. The group was founded in the 1990s by Evo A. Benda. According to Benda, extraterrestrial civilizations operate a fleet of spaceships led by the Ashtar Galactic Command who are orbiting the Earth right now. They closely watch us and are waiting to transport their followers to another dimension. Members of the movement completely distrust modern technologies as well as currency. They also consider mass media to be a tool of oppression and manipulation and believe in many different variations of extraterrestrials including that of um, lizard men. But I say why stop there? I mean why not pig women, right? Or, or duck children, huh? Or, or those dreaded giraffe hybrid people. I don't know, these people are whacked. Number six is Scientology. Oh man, I'm gonna get shot over this one. The Church of Scientology is a cult created by L. Ron Hubbard in 1952 as an outgrowth of his self-help system called Dianetics. The church keeps many of its teachings a secret, stating that mystical teachings may be harmful to unprepared readers, aka sane people. According to Hubbard in Scientology scriptures, 75 million years ago, an alien dictator named Thenu brought billions of humans to Earth and killed them by placing them in volcanoes while simultaneously detonating bombs. This released theatins which stuck to living humans and are said to still live today and exist as members, spirits, or souls. Sounds a little wacko to me! Yet half of Hollywood are active members of this <clears throat> church. Yeah, and you guys wonder why I'm still in Toronto and not LA. Number seven are the Raelians. The Raelian Church was founded in France in the 1970s by Claude Vorhan, or as he's known by his followers, Raël. These followers believe that humans were created by aliens. They also believe that UFOs spawned most religions and that mind transfer is possible and also that cloning can lead to reincarnation. Raël used to be a cabaret singer and a race car driver who met one day with an alien named Yahweh who told him about the origin of mankind as well as offered him the service of several futuristic sex robots. <laughs> this cult has many members in the tens of thousands, many of whom are women who must sleep with Rael to help with their cloning efforts, which of course makes zero sense. Then again, the, the whole thing makes zero sense, so why not? Rail boning it up. Number eight is Family International. Family International was started in 1968 in Huntington Beach, California, founded by Baptist and Christian pastor Dave Berg. The group currently has practicing members all over the world. Berg has proclaimed himself the last anointed prophet before the end of times and members believe that they are living in the last days before the anarchist takes over for seven years. So you might be wondering, how do they enjoy their last days on earth? Well, I'ma tell ya. Regardless of marital status, the members are encouraged to have as much sex as they please with each other. Amongst David Berg's teachings is that heterosexual relations is encouraged as a pure and wonderful wonder of God's creation. Of course, female bisexuality is encouraged, but homosexuality is a sin. Oh, well isn't that double standard just awfully convenient? Number nine is the creativity movement. Formerly known as the World Church of the Creator, this cult is an organization that advocates a white-only sovereign. Founded in 1973 by neo-Nazi Ben Klassen in North Carolina, the group rejects all forms of spirituality and religion and is atheistic, which makes it easy to understand why they changed their name. They believe that white, or Caucasian, is a unique and superior race. This group has been behind many violent hate crimes over the years and has gained national media attention in America. This of course includes in 1999 when member Nathaniel Smith went on a racially motivated shooting spree, killing two people and injuring nine others. Others. There is no joke to be said there because that guy is just a terrible, terrible person. But I would like to punch him in the dick. And number 10 is the Order of the Solar Temple. Luc Jaure, a Belgian religious leader and neo-Nazi, reportedly started this group in 1984 in Geneva. They operate as a secret society that claims to be based upon the ideals of the Knights Templar and their members are global with temples in Quebec, Canada, Australia, Switzerland and the Caribbean. 
In 1994, a member's three-year-old son was murdered after his father identified him as the Antichrist. What then followed was a mass group suicide of members in locations around the world. Today, the French consider the Order of the Solar Temple to be an active criminal organization. Well, it just goes to show you that some people will believe in anything if somebody steps up as a mystical leader. But seriously, let's start that bald religion. I want to be the king. And now my friends, you're just a bit smarter. I wanted to let you guys know that you can now watch all of my videos on watchable.com or by downloading the Watchable mobile app. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Do me a favor and take a moment to press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can catch my next video. If you're a little bit impatient and you want more right now, then check out my vlog channel by clicking the link in the description and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram for daily fun. I will see you guys next time. Peace.